it or failed it. Woo -woo. All right, so Angie off once again. So we have a special guest joining us today. So let's welcome in Molly McGuire from Sencio Soaps. I, did I pronounce that correctly? You did, that's okay. correct. Very good. Awesome. All right, so before we begin, tell us about your business just a little bit. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So we are Sencio. We are based out of the historic Broadway district of Rock Island, Illinois. Okay. You can okay. find our products online. Um, SentioBeauty.com. We do all sorts of vegan, cruelty-free, handmade natural cosmetics, bath bombs, soaps, um, all sorts of fun beauty stuff like that. Okay. Well, and speaking of bath bombs, that's what uh, we're making today, aren't we? That's right. We are going to make unicorn poop bath bombs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> unicorn poop <laughs> bath bombs. <laughs> Love it. Love right. it. Okay. Cool. So these are going to be layered. They're rainbow. They're sparkly. They smell like fruit. Everything you'd imagine unicorn poop to be, right? I know. <laughs> it smells delicious over here. Yeah, it does. Really nice. Okay. So what's the first step for if people want to try this at home? What do they kind of uh, okay. need in ingredients wise? So to make bath bombs, it actually takes longer than we actually have on the air mm -hmm. here. So I've pre-mixed our batch here. Okay. But there's baking soda and citric acid that creates that fun um, mm -hmm. chemical reaction that you want to see in a bath bomb. That's what makes it fizz up. Yeah, look like really a volcano cool. Yeah, in, okay. in, in a science class. Okay. So we've got that. We've got a little bit of cornstarch, makes a nice uh, silky feel in the tub. And then we have a uh, synthetic fragrance. We don't use essential oils because as lovely as natural fragrances are, mm -hmm. you can get chemical burns from those if you too, use them in too high of concentration. Right, right. Okay. So we're using a paraben and phthalate-free fragrance. Nice. Um, again, certified cruelty-free, everything in our line. And so that's what we've got here. Is nice. this why we have the gloves on, by the okay. way, because of the... Um, we actually just have the gloves on for sanitary purposes. Okay. Nothing that we're oh, messing okay. with is dangerous. If you're making these at home, you don't need gloves. Uh, we're just keeping it clean here in the Which studio. Which is awesome. That's, yeah, nice. uh, a lot of people look for that now when they're trying to buy products is mm -hmm. making sure. So I love that you guys have that. So I'm just going to give each of you a little bit of our powder here. Okay. And then I'm going to give you some mica mineral pigment, and that's what's going to give us our fun colors. Ooh. Okay. And I'm a little bit faster at this, so I'm going to go ahead and mix three of them, and I'm going to give you one each. Thank you. Which color would you like? Uh, let's pink. go blue. Blue? All Shut right. Up. Jonathan. <laughs> he, really, he told me he wanted pink Whatever. in the brain. Like <laughs> All right. Bug. So you're just going to get your hands down in there and really mix it around, okay, get down in the corners, but or? don't mash it down because you want to have a nice, light, fluffy mix. So it's not like kneading bread dough. Okay. Which color would you like? I'll do pink. Pink? <laughs> Since Jonathan won't. <laughs> <laughs> and All right. You? I'll do orange. Orange? That's my favorite color. And you just said right. you start kneading it, right? Kind um, of? Nope, you oh. don't want to knead it. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I will start it. No, no, that's this fine. This does smell so good. It does. Should yes. we toss Thank it? Thank you. We just like. Oops, so you're just kind of okay. doing like this light. Okay. Just, okay. Just, okay. Just, okay. Just, just, okay. just kind of fluffy. Keeping it kind of gentle. And you can kind of do a little bit of that. Oh, this smells awesome. Kind of squish it and run it through your fingers like It really does smell so good. I mean, Pardon it is me. bath bomb soap, so. Okay. So when you drop this into your bath water, they'll fizz up and they'll release oils that make your skin really soft. Mm -hmm. They smell nice. Just overall really pleasant. Nice. Okay, so if you wanted to get like a rainbow effect, you would just do more than one, right? More right, you'd one mix color? more than one color. Okay. And then we'll layer them into the molds. And that's actually a little bit trickier than it sounds. Was I supposed uh, to mix that? Yep, just okay. mix it on in. <laughs> My kids, I just did. <laughs> no, you do it all the time and you get used to these things and you don't even think to tell people, oh, you should keep on doing that. Yes, yeah. okay. So we are in the process of making a bath bomb. We oh. are, yes. Okay. This is so cool. Very neat. Okay. All right, so once we get the coloring in, where do we, oh, you're going to mix just I'm going to mix up my ones. three real quick. Okay. And then Is this we, so that we can do different colors? Um, we could if you wanted oh, okay. to. Um, or we can each share out of these containers and we'll make the layered ones there. I see. Okay. We can do a solid one first if you'd like to kind of get a feel for how to mold a bath bomb because it can be a little bit tricky when you're doing multiple colors mm -hmm. and you've never done it before. Okay. So I'm just going to give these a quick mix so that I can get caught up with you guys and then we'll start putting them together. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to keep mixing these, and then on the other side, we will come back and show you how to do the bath bombs. Um, so, yeah, stick around for that. We will be right back. <laughs> 